Okay, the JMS now has been brewing for about uh, approximately 56 hours. And I think it's pretty much ready to go. You can kind of tell if I get real close here. You see the edge, you can see the definite clear line. Nice, it's very, very, very well defined. So we're gonna take this out now and apply it. And we'll go out to the beds. Okay, so we use this coffee can with pre-marked in it for dilution rates for our three gallon bucket. The material is in the bottom of the bucket here. And what we do is we have markings on the side of the bucket that take it up to three gallons. So we'll just fill it up with three gallons. Okay, so we got about three gallons of water in here with the JMS. And then what we do is we then apply it. Uh, we'll just pull around the drip line of the tree itself. And we just go around and we use about a gallon of JMS to do the whole thing. The JMS is applied uh, under the tree. Uh, we put it at a, about a one to 20 dilution rate. And I've got this canister where it's marked out for what 1 to 20 dilution rate in a three gallon uh, water bucket would be. And then what we do is we just spread this equally uh, around the tree. This is a close up of some of the things that are starting to grow. We just chopped and dropped mulch and I put my finger under here and there's still damp soil. And I've got some annual, actually this is cereal winter rye that has started to germinate already. This is the second or third of September. So we've really changed the health of the tree by applying the JMS on a monthly basis. And then before bud break, we did it uh, several times within about a five day rotation. And uh, you can see the crab apples look great. Really works. So I thought this was pretty cool. These naked ladies, which are a form of a lily, bloom in August. And this is the best we've ever had on these things. These things have not been watered directly, but they are within about 12 feet of the crab apple tree. So this area is outside of the drip line of the crab apple tree. But what you can start to see is these, this area does not get any direct water at all. So the surface has always been dry. But obviously what's going on is the uh, mycorrhizal relationships in the soil are transporting water to some of these more hardy grasses. And as we talked about, the naked ladies on the outside are actually doing quite well, even though they've never been watered. All right, so we've got all of the JMS spread out. The last thing we do is we spend about, oh, probably five, 10 minutes. I just kind of walk around the base of the tree and water this stuff in really well. And then after it's done, uh, that's it. Basically, I don't do anything else till the next application, which will be sometime, uh, I guess in this case, we're gonna be sometime near the end of the month of September. So this is the final, as you can see around the drip line, the JMS and the watering once a month uh, in combination with a light mulch has allowed the vegetation to stay pretty green underneath the drip line. And when you get outside the drip line, you can see it turns brown pretty fast. So anyway, this has uh, been a good experiment this summer. The tree is doing pretty well. I still have a bit of rust, but it's much more vigorous than it's been in years. So I think this one is a win. Be sure to read the show notes for any additional information on dilutions and things of that nature that I've used. Thanks for watching.